Hi, this is Steve with Otaku Henshin. We finally got in the Cure Echo figure art, so it's time for another Pre-Cure review. So taking a look at the box first here, we can see Cure Echo here in English, and again in Katakana, Cure Echo. We can see below here, it says Pre-Cure Orustazu New Stage and New Stage 2. And let's just take a quick look at each side of the box. On the top, and on the sides, bottom and then on the back so we can see the three fairies from the movies and then we can also see some different facial expressions for cure echo as well we can just take a real quick closer look at the box here on the back and why don't we go ahead now and open this up and show you what comes inside so as usual, we have our instructions and the figure itself. We have the fairies here up in the top and the different faces. And uh, of course, with the hands, they have like the sweet Precure ones did, the stackable little blocks here for the hands to attach to, which I really do like since that helps keep the hands organized so you don't lose them. You can see part of the stand here and the rest of the stand is on the back there. Taking a look at the pieces inside, we first have our stand. It says Cure Echo. And for the fairies, we have Fu Chan, who his head does move around. We have Gureru, and he can move his head left and right, but not up and down. And again with NN, the same thing, just left and right. For our hands, we can see two open hands, two fists. And then this one kind of has the index finger pointing out a little bit. We have the two fingers out here. And this one looks like the two fingers kind of given a Spock type of thing. So again, like I said, these pegs will break apart just a little stiff <laughs> and so you can stack them up however you want we have our usual neck piece to keep the head stiff if you need it to stay in a certain position and then for the faces we have a smiling face here we have a battle face And we have one with her eyes closed. Taking a look at Cure Echo now, let's first take a look at her outfit. You can see the bottom of her shoes has that color to it. So as far as articulation, I'm actually really impressed with this figure. They've certainly improved the figure art series by a lot. Um, the hair, for one thing, has a lot of motion to it. It feels really light, unlike the previous figures that have the super heavy hair. And it doesn't really take much to move any of the parts. She's actually very loose feeling, but at the same time, it'll stay in place, as you can see. So I'm glad that they've really improved upon that, because that was a real issue with some of the past Precure figure arts that they were just too heavy in places that you couldn't really pose them effectively. So as far as the articulation on her, we can see that the hair does move around quite a bit. And obviously her head. And these actually move. And we can see in the arms and the wrists. In the upper body. In the waist the legs and in the ankles here and then let's go ahead and pop the face off and we can switch this out definitely doesn't want to come out there we go And 
and we can see her now with a different face. So why don't I go ahead and try a couple different poses with her so you can see what all she can do. So since we already had this face on, I figured I'd do this pose from the box here. Here's a pose from the stock photos. And then here's one last pose, again taken from the stock photos. So as far as Cure Echo, I really like this figure a lot. And it's not just the character, but also the fact that the articulation is just way better than the past Precure figures. Even the more recent ones, they did feel much nicer than the earlier Smile Precure ones, for example, but they still didn't have quite this feel to them. So I'm really glad to know that the Precure figure arts are heading in a much better direction so we can expect a lot more from future releases. I, for one, am really hoping to see a Cure Flora one soon. The only downsides to this figure that I can see are the fact that Maybe you wanted the fairies to pose their heads more. I honestly don't really care that much about the fairies. I mean, they just stand there. So I'd rather just pose the Precure and not worry about the fairy possibly falling off the stand if I bump the table and losing it or something like that. So I just keep the fairies in the box. The only other issue with the figure herself is getting the stand around her waist. You do have to try to get it around this bow, which makes it a little bit annoying, but it obviously isn't that big of a deal. As mentioned in previous videos, she is now available for sale on our website, otakuhenshin.com. But keep in mind, we do only have a limited quantity of her, so as soon as she sells out, she'll be gone for good. So if you are interested in picking one up, make sure you buy one soon. At the end of the Cure Beauty video also, I did mention that we have plenty of other Precure figure arts to review from Heart Catch Precure and Doki Doki Precure. So definitely stay tuned for those. I'll be working on those in the next coming weeks. And in the meantime, I will also be working on some Nendoroid and Scale figures from various anime and games. So I'm hoping that'll help diversify our videos a bit. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also check out our Facebook page and website. The more support we get from you guys, the more we can add to our store and add to our video reviews. As always, thanks for watching you guys and stay tuned for our next video.